Hey, how's it going, guys? Going to show y'all how to build a PVE boat. This is probably the best boat that I've kind of built on this game for PVE only. It's not very good for PvP because it's pretty much easily accessed. Uh, first thing you want to do is just keep your sail up. I like to use a wooden block because it's easier to uh, get it straight right here. Just take it to as far to the edge as you possibly can until and center it with that center block and snap it in. Once you get that snapped in you're pretty much set. So just go back and uh, take the sail down because you don't need it no more and just put some more wooden blocks right through here and then right here now you may actually come to the point where you can't place the block like this it won't let you what you want to do hold on just a here. what you want to do is actually go to and build a ceiling you just use a thatch ceiling because it's like the cheapest and apparently I don't have enough materials for it so let's go over here and dig in some material Now that we got our ceiling, you want to place the ceiling in the spot like so, and then place your foundation under it. And there you go. And then you can come back up here and just demolish this thatch ceiling top. So now that we got that, I need some more wood for these foundations. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, do that. Yeah, right here. And you just put your foundations on each side and then one in the middle. So, it should look something like this. So you got your little open spot where you drive and you have a space behind you. Now once we demolish all of these. We're going to, after we do that, we are going to actually go one more to each side. So it's going to be five wide. So we're just going to do this. So, put these down. Now you'll also come up on an issue like this, to where it won't where it won't place. Uh, when that happens, just get in your boat and drive out to sea just a, just a little bit, not, not really far, and just place it in, and it works. I don't know why, but it does. So, just go ahead and demolish these eventually. Alright, now that we got that side done, we want to do it basically on the opposite side also. So, let's get in here and turn our boat around. Put our thatch little ceiling tiles up and of course I don't have any more material so I'll have to wait for it to okay. all right 
Okay, so this is how wide it's going to be. It's going to be five wide, so when you look at it here, take these out first. <laughs> All right, so it's five wide, and going to go forward one more. I think it's five by five, I believe. Yeah, it's five by five. So, if I get straightened out here. So, alright, put your ceiling tiles down, and you're like me, you run out, materials, oh. What's that again, bud? You get out here and build, sir, cut some more. Home show, buddy, home show. Go up here and pick us some yeah, some I'm weeds, doing, uh, some berries, yeah. some fiber. I'm just, I'm just insane. <laughs> I'm just insane. I'm tired of mine. Okay. Well, we got that out of the way. Let's go back here and put the final two pieces on here. need more wood foundations so there we go we'll put these wood foundations down here okay once you get those put down let's get back on your boat and demolish the thatch By the end of it here, you should, like I said, you should have a 5x5 five five square. That's kind of as big as you need it. You don't really need it to be any bigger than this. You can make it bigger, but I use this boat basically for everything whenever I was playing on PBE. This is how I went around and everything basically until I got a base set up. Uh, next we're going to do walls and door frame. Uh, you just put the door frame even with your little hole where you drive at. Makes a lot of sense. Uh, just wall it, wall it all up, but leave two open spaces up front as you've seen there. And I think I run out of walls here in just a second. Yeah. So I gotta get more walls. But that's the spot you wanna leave open, just like that. Okay, now we got more walls. I want to just go ahead and block it off here. Like so. Alright, now right here is gonna be like a taming pin. So you just want to go two up, but you want to use a door frame on the next one, like so. And I can't stand it being backwards, so let's try this again, just like that. Alright, then you place a wall and then another door frame. As soon as it gets built, there we go. Then you just a game will work right. Well, just put your walls up. This is the only section that you have to put more walls on because uh, I'll show you in a moment. Just basically make it a box, uh, and that's kind of the setup here. Just put your doors on. Like see. 
here in a minute I'll give you a demonstration on how this works. But first we're going to have to finish this out. Uh, one of the things that we're going to get here is a stone gate and some wood found, uh, fence rail foundations and some actual fence railing. So you put the uh, fence railing foundation right here on the edge like so. Two of them. And then you'll take your stone gateway if I can get it there we go. Just snap it in. It snaps. You don't have to line it up. It snaps in itself. And then you take your gate and there's your gate. Uh, once you do that you pretty much got it set up. You just have to uh, place these fence rails on top. For some odd reason, just those fence rails keep carnals from killing you. Or well, actually stepping over into your boat. Uh, just put you some ramps down. Like a soon. Alright, so this is the shell of the boat. You can make it bigger if you wanted to. I mean, if you wanted to do like a behemoth gate to tame bigger dinosaurs, you, you can. Uh, but you just can't, you know, put anything else on it because of the limitations of the boat. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get enough to build two more of these fence rails so I can finish that side. Now that we got that, this is basically the way it is. Now I'll demonstrate how to uh, capture something here. We'll go with this uh, turtle. Uh, what you want to do is just, you know, pull your boat up to the edge of the bank and open your door. It works best if you got two people in here, one to shut the door behind you when you run it in. But you just walk up to anything that's aggroable. Just walk up to it, punch it in the face. And you just run it back to your boat here. But of course, you know, as on Ark, it hates me. So not only does do I bring the turtle, but I bring copies with me, which is annoying. About as aggravating as the dose right here. Oh, let's try to get him with a hatchet. Alright, so that's the copy's gone. Yeah. Alright, now this works for, like I said, carn a carno and like an allosaurus, I think, is the, the biggest thing that you can actually fit in here some lag there and actually be able to tame it like pretty much safe to where you don't have to worry about anybody but uh, you just get the animal in there you come out and some more lag shut the gate and you pretty much got him trapped so if you don't want to stay around the island you just jump into your boat drag him out to sea a little bit and from here, you can tranquilize him or however you want to do it. I don't have any tranquilizers or anything to actually knock him down. But if you do knock him down, they will stay on the boat. You can actually ride around anywhere, basically, and they'll remain on the boat. Just don't, like, run it against another boat or, you know, how it works. Because he'll, he'll drag him off of it. So we're just going to go ahead and let this turtle go, maybe. Okay, now I kind of want to show you how I had my boat set up when I played the PVE server. Uh, of course, uh, we got a fabricator. This spot back here, you can put like a bed or 
It'd be another small crate if you want it. Uh, got a smithy. Of course, you gotta have a smithy and a fabricator. Plus uh, your forges. Like what? I'm like really LCD about this. I'm sorry. So, I always like to do two forges, just because. Uh, over here, put you some uh, storage boxes. And for some odd reason, it doesn't want to pay to do it, so it's been annoying. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. But anyway, we'll just go ahead and put the generator down. Put your generator down, and uh, I didn't make it, but you can put like a uh, refrigerator right next to it, and uh, yeah, it probably works. Uh, put refrigerator right next to it, and uh, you know you can store whatever eggs, meat, whatever you want to. Uh, also, put this little lamp. Well, hold on a second here, my game. Well, okay, yeah, anyway, I didn't, let's see, we've got this little lamp here that you can put down, and it actually illuminates it really well, so this is really about the only light source you need. And, uh, that's, uh, kind of, basically about it, guys, I mean, you can, uh, you can add like a bed frame. Uh, I had a safe on it at one point. Uh, it works. Uh, once you get it made out of wood, or I mean, you can go straight to metal or stone, however you really want to do it. Eventually, if you take it to metal, it's a lot better, of course. This boat is probably about basically the best thing that I could possibly think of doing it in arc starting out. Once you get your base built up the boat kind of becomes obsolete but uh, it's you know it's if you want something for yourself if you're playing with a lot of people like I always did I always wanted a little area of my own so I just made this boat and this was my, my spot and uh, I hope you enjoyed the video guys if you found it helpful please leave a like comment if you're new, please subscribe. We'll see y'all in the next video.